Make sure patients have refrained from ingesting caffeine or smoking cigarettes for at least 30 minutes prior to taking measurement. Patients should also be seated quietly for at least 5 minutes before the test begins. A patient must be sitting down in an upright position with their feet separate and flat on the floor, back straight and supported, and their arms must be at heart level extended with palms facing upward. Arms must remain straight in order to place the diaphragm correctly on the brachial artery. There are markings on the cuff to indicate the range to ensure you are using the right cuff size. There is also a marking for the proper alignment of the brachial artery. Prior to putting the cuff on your patient, make sure their sleeve is rolled up. Proceed to wrapping the cuff firmly around the upper arm at heart level, aligning the cuff with the brachial artery. Remember, the bladder inside the cuff should encompass at least 80% of the upper arm. According to the range markings, it seems like this cuff is a great fit. Now we can proceed to the next step. Make sure that the air release valve on the side of the inflation bulb is turned all the way to the right. This means that the valve is closed. Make sure that your manometer gauge is placed in a spot where you can clearly see it. Here, we chose to hang it on the cuff. Take a look at your stethoscope. Make sure that the earpieces are facing forward away from you. Now, lightly tap your diaphragm to hear a sound. Everything's working great. Place your fingers around the bell of the chest piece, not the top. That can give you an unwanted sound. Place the diaphragm over the brachial artery and quickly inflate the cuff pressure to 200 millimeters of mercury. Once there, slowly release pressure by opening the valve at a rate of 2 to 5 millimeters of mercury per second. The first sound that you hear is your first Karakhov sound. This indicates your systolic blood pressure. The last sound that you hear is your last Karakhov sound, which indicates your diastolic blood pressure. Once you have heard the sounds you need, release the valve by turning it all the way to the left. This patient's blood pressure was 118 for the systolic and 78 for the diastolic. Remember that blood pressure measurements are recorded in even numbers only. Also remember to wait 3 to 5 minutes before performing the next blood pressure measurement. Here we have the blood pressure classification for adults. It shows the systolic blood pressure and diastolic blood pressure in millimeters of mercury for normal classification, prehypertension, stage 1 hypertension, and stage 2 hypertension. Since our patient's blood pressure was 118 over 78, that means that they fall in the normal category.